Lewis wants it to stay the no fun league. Your reaction? Well, first of all, he comes across as a bit prunish, number one. Number two, and nobody was talking about how guys are playing on the field. We're talking about how they celebrate once play has been completed, whether it's via a touchdown or anything else. It's celebratory because the hard work that you put in and what have you. Do we want something success excessive? No. Do we want sexual gyrations on the field and all of that stuff? Absolutely not. But at the same time, guys spiking the ball, doing a fun dance, entertaining the crowd, the Deion Sanders of the world, <laughs> high-stepping into the end zone and stuff like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I think that Marvin Lewis is a bit excessive, a little bit too old school, but more importantly than anything, hypocritical. First of all, he had Ocho Cinco as one of his uh, uh, wide receivers. I didn't hear him complaining then. By the way, you've got a guy like Pac-Man Jones and Vontez Burfick and others who clearly have been in the news for the wrong reasons, even though I love me some Pac-Man Jones. Instead of Marvin Lewis being concerned about stuff like this, maybe he should be concerned about the fact that he hasn't won a playoff game in his 14 years as a head coach in Cincinnati. Maybe he should thank his heavenly stars that he still has a head coaching job in the city of Cincinnati instead of being booted out of there like he should have been years ago. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to be a head coach, but it damn sure doesn't need to be in Cincinnati where this man is single-handedly responsible for essentially telling the city of Cincinnati we really don't give a damn how you feel because winning is not a priority. Let me take that back. He's not single-handedly responsible. Him and the man who employs him, Mike Brown, are responsible because that is the message that they have resonated to the city of Cincinnati. They don't win in the postseason. They don't produce and that should be the priority. But here this man is talking about what guys are how guys should celebrate or how the league shouldn't support such a thing. Considering the level of ineptitude that has sifted through that franchise like a damn virus come postseason time, you would think that he would want dudes to celebrate. Give them a reason to want to stay in cold you-know-what Cincinnati. Why? Because guess what? They don't usually have much to celebrate in that damn city. Maybe if you sat up there and promoted it more, you, they'd find a reason to want to stay because clearly it's not when Winning football games when it really, really counts. That is what Marvin Lewis should be prioritizing. I don't even know why anybody asked him that damn question. And more importantly, I don't know why he answered it. Yep, your reaction to Marvin Lewis's comments, Stephen A., you used as a soapbox to go at Marvin Lewis. I'm going to use it as a soapbox for something else. First of all, okay. I don't understand how a player's coach like Marvin Lewis is against them, t t TD celebrations. Why? And, and, and let me just use this as an opportunity to slam the NFL. Oh. By the way, I think the NFL generally takes too much criticism. The reason, like, we're all interested in football, right? Well, thank you, NFL, for your excellent product. And because it's this monolith and the legitimate, you know, football um, uh, enterprise in this country, we scrutinize it and we dissect everything that's wrong with it. So there's much more right with it than what's wrong with it, but here's something that's wrong. TD celebrations? Really? You have special rules for them? Are you crazy? I mean, what the, just it if someone does something... Gyration. Okay, so give someone an unsportsmanlike conduct if, if they, you know, like, you, you just penalize them in the moment. they brought it back, Max. You they got written of them totally. That, but, but it points out, Molly, it points out that they have special rules for it in the first place. If someone does something pornographic or something like that or too violent for some reason, you hit them with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, something like that. You don't need a separate set of rules for them. By the way, the movie, like, Footloose dealt with this issue, what, 30 or 40 oh, years God. ago? Dating and by the way, the rules makers... Was that movie? Was that Patrick Swayze? No, no that was Dirty, dirty Dancing. Dancing. That is such oh, a good one. Dirty Dancing. Yeah. Dirty but the point is, the, it's, it's, it's like an 80s so good. movie. It's I like an that. 80s movie. And guess who were the villains? The rules makers. The one, like, the end of... Yeah, nothing 30 changed. years ago, we knew that someone who would make rules for something like this is the Max. bad guy. They're the stodgy old oh. bad Do guy. You, and the, the NFL thing, is playing it that 30 a years more later. Fun, though. The, the, the only thing I would like to say to you, Max and Molly, I'm calling y'all on the carpet for this. I'm yes. getting on y'all about this. This is what? very important. If you're going to bring up any of these dancing movies, whether it's Footloose, you know, a, 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 whatever it was dirty with Patrick dancing. Swayze, oh, so okay. the Dirty oh, Dancing, go, Dirty Dancing, I, I've had the time of my oh, life. That, that, that might have been one, my first okay, crush. I get all of yeah. that. Let me tell y'all something right now. Don't you ever bring up a movie without bringing up Saturday Night Fever with my man John Travolta. Hold up. Don't Time you out. dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. You gotta you bring said. that up. Look, you Saturday gotta Night bring Fever, that up. Saturday Night Fever is the, is the greatest Let's ever, just about. But hold on. Time out. If you want to talk strictly yeah. movies that incorporate that, what's up with Beat Street, Stephen A? 
No. Saturday jo- why? Night Fever, breaking, man. It doesn't count. Saturday Disco Night Fever. Counts, but breaking doesn't. Saturday Night Fever. John Travolta. I mean, come mm. on now. Grease come was on more now. my era with John Travolta. 